Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. This is Showboat and I have returned from my four week long excursion back home helping with a move. It's apparently going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Cool. Oh, the spirits are in good humor. We are at plus 4.4. We have updated Smappy, which does not have the debug menu anymore, so also updated the uh, info thingy, this one, this mod, uh, which disabled F2, so now it doesn't disable F2 because it doesn't do anything anymore. No oh, joy, it's, uh, it's autumn, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Let us see what we've got to harvest, as well as grab... Where is my bait? Do I not have any more bait? Please tell me I have bait. Bait! I'm gonna need you, bait. Hello, hello. So, my travels were quite taxing, as one might expect them to be. I've completely forgotten what I would want to do today. I completely, I don't know at all what I want to do. Fortunately, it looks like we've got, we've got a lot of crops that I set up before I left, which is nice. We have 13 k in the bank. Hmm. What was I planning? I've completely, completely forgotten. I haven't really touched any game, really, for four weeks. Uh, the only game I really have touched is, uh, Pokemon Sun, which released, like, halfway through my time away and uh, I played a bit of that over the course of my time away when I had the time to do it but basically didn't really play anything on my laptop at all which is sad but uh, yeah I was put to work I uh, I almost collapsed due to dehydration on uh, the second day there when helping the move. The move itself took like five, four or five days. I don't know. I forget. It took a while to get everything out. Even though we had a full team of people on day one, and we did manage to get all the, like, major furniture out during that time, um, it still took a long time to get everything done. Partly because we had to clean out our uh, garage in the old house there was a lot of there was a lot of junk in there to get rid of uh, by the request of the landlord so we did that and we took our stuff with us which was a very nice Though there was some stuff that was his that we just left. Because there was there was stuff that was with the house itself that uh, was previously there or that had accumulated over time. Like we had work that was done on the front door of the house because of water damage and uh... Yeah, the workers left a whole bunch of crap in the garage. So we left that there. That's that's on the owner to clean up. And the house was completely dilapidated anyway, so we just really left things mostly as they were and left for the brand new house, which uh I finally got to see and experience. Uh the initial flight though was a pain because my connecting flight to head out on uh, the 27th happened to go through LaGuardia Airport. 
which some of you may or may not know, that on the 27th, Mike Pence's plane ran off one of the runways at LaGuardia, and LaGuardia has two runways. So one of them was shut down for pretty much the entire day, and uh, it really screwed things over. In fact, my connecting flight eventually was cancelled late in the evening, which was a ginormous pain in the rear. And of course, because this was affecting pretty much every flight in the airport, every single hotel was fully booked for the night, and uh, I got to stay the night at the airport. But that's not all, because the flight that they put me on, which was originally going to be in the morning, around in the 8 o'clock hour, shortly after I was put on that flight, it was delayed by over five hours. It was after two when uh, the flight eventually left. And I was up the entire time. I didn't even bother sleeping. So that was an experience. I completely missed the final walkthrough of the house, which I wanted to be there for, as well as the uh, final, well, the closing. I, w I wanted to be there for closing, but I couldn't be. So, oh well, that's, that's life, I suppose. Things happen. And even after the physical move itself of getting everything from one to the other, remember that the house is only about a mile away, so it wasn't too awfully bad. Uh, I still had to do lots of stuff. I was, I was put to work. I shouldn't even be here with all this stuff in my inventory. Let's go take care of that, shall we? Uh, I was put to work. Among the first things was uh, getting the washer and dryer hooked up in the new place. That was interesting, to say the least. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just selling things. A bunch of things just getting sold. I shouldn't sell those. I should, uh, process those. Ugh. Where's my stuff? No, oh, not you. You. There. Where's the other stone? All the way over here, huh? Yeah. Jeez, almost got two full stacks of stone. This is nice. Ah, might as well keep that and stick that away. Won't be needing the golden watering can anytime soon. Have I hit the last floor of the mine yet? I believe that I have. Yes, I have. And by the way... What's the... That's the thingy. I have the latest version of NPC map locations. Um... What do I want to change? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need to see Marlin. Is he's always in the same place and you can't talk to him anyway. Show the merchant. Show hidden. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means, what that does. But uh, anyway, people are everywhere. So many people. I think I had the option to hide the ones I have talked to for the day. That will come in handy. See, so yeah, a bunch of mods that were updated, I have updated now. And I think we're good for now. Let's head uh, over and do something, I guess. I've got, like, tons of these things that I can eat. Yeah. 
So yeah, I was I was put to work, basically. Um, after the first two days from the physical move, I had blisters all over my feet, and uh, I could barely walk on the third day, like the end of the second into the third. I needed to have a cane just to be able to walk. It was. It was terrible, and I almost collapsed from dehydration on the end of day two. Because I completely forgot about this thing called drinking water. So, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's been a time. Uh, we, towards the end, well, during this time we got, of course, the dreaded curtain shopping done. Which, uh, huh, oh boy. It wasn't really curtain shopping, it was more like curtain rod shopping. And shower rod shopping. At the time, we went to, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and got ourselves a bunch of things! Including curtain rods that I had to hang myself. For, I don't know how many windows it was it it was like 12 no 16 some odd windows hey we've got a bunch of mushrooms on this one cool fortunately I insisted on having a new dr a more powerful drill than what we originally had which was this dinky double-a battery powered thingy so, we got a real 20, 20 volt drill. And, uh, yeah, that came in handy. It did what I needed it to do, which was hang curtains, and install toilet paper holders, and shower. Uh. Not bleh, shower, no. Towel holders. And, and, uh,. Well, both, both towel holder rods and, like, rings. We had two rings per bathroom as well as an 18-inch rod for hanging up towels. And, of course, the toilet paper holders, and we did had that in two bathrooms. So, yeah. Those were interesting times and then when we eventually got the curtains themselves which we had ordered through walmart.com and it took forever to arrive I put those up too and uh, over this time I was also like sorting all of our boxes getting them in the correct rooms that they needed to be uh, we had bookcases that needed to be reinforced, so I reinforced them with more nails on the backings. Because the way that they were designed is that their structural integrity sort of depended upon having the backs of them solidly on. And uh, they weren't. The nails that they had came with were like pulling out and there were sections that were like coming off. It was... It wasn't very nice, so I put a ton of nails in them. And geez, what what else? Uh, we got a 4K 60-inch TV that I wall-mounted. Though my plans for that entertainment setup aren't uh, are not complete yet. They are not complete yet, but uh, we I did get everything in a working state as of right now so it works it's just ugly and I need to uh, do something about that but I won't be able to for three weeks until I go back again so as we like approach the end of this day already I should note that uh, while I was away there was comment a comment made couple comments actually about 
adding the mod called the Prestige mod. And uh, I've looked it up, and what it does is when you get your skill to level 10, any of the any of the skills up to level 10, you can reset them, and then you can essentially pick a profession at that point. So instead of having, you know, the uh, the options here that you get at level 5 and at level 10, instead of actually getting these, you go all the way up and you reset the skill, and then you can pick, you know, one of the level 5 options for that particular skill. And then when you get up to level 10 twice more, you can get the level 10, or you can just... I assume get the other level 5 and then keep getting all, every everything? I assume you can get everything. Every one of these options by doing that. But it just seems like it would take a heck of a long time. Like, for really, really long games. I'm just not really into that right now. It's an interesting concept, but I think it slows down progression a bit too much. Only to then have it ramp up considerably as you get towards the end. So, yeah, I'm going to have to pass on that one, unfortunately. Just seems a bit too unbalancing in both directions, to be honest. Uh, let's get rid of those. I don't really care what I'm shipping right now, clearly. Oh, I, get it. I did get two coal. Cool. I get rid of those. I'll keep the geodes, and I think we're good. Let's get stuff, uh, sorted here. Oh, really? That's full? Interesting. Very interesting. Aha! That's where I put the rest of those. How convenient. Actually, they should be with the stone, shouldn't they? Ah, da -da -da -da. Get with the stone. There you go. That's it. We're done. We're done for the day, actually. And that'll that'll be all for that I really say for this video about the move itself. Huzzah. Go to sleep. There's a bit more to discuss about the move, but I will do that in the next video. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Showboat, and I will see you all next time.